Hello everyone, this is Sean with ComicsPriceGuide.com. I am showing video tutorials of how to use our new website. Uh, it is very different from the old website, so a lot of the processes have changed. Uh, so I think it's important to walk you through the steps of how we see the ideal uh, usage going. That way you can uh, understand our thought process and hopefully see some, uh, some cool tricks to make your collection management even easier. So let's start with the most basic thing, which is adding a new issue to your collection. So let's say that uh, you went out and uh, you picked up uh, Spider-Man issue number one uh, and you wanted to add it to your collection. Uh, typically you would start that process with a search to find that title. Uh, so the search bar is down here. You can search the guide directly by title. Uh, you can also search it by the publisher. Uh, in this case, since we already know that it is Spider-Man, we'll type that in. Um, you can enter in the title without the issue if you'd want and we'll see what happens when we do that here. Uh, it will start showing you all of the titles um, with that match that search. Uh, so if you wanted to you could start drilling down into any of these to start browsing the issues. Uh, additionally, let's assume that we actually know the specific issue we wanted. We can type it here, uh, refresh that search, and suddenly we see all of the specific titles that are within uh, that have that issue number. Uh, there's also a tab for your collection, so if you're curious if maybe you already added the issue to your collection, uh, you can click on this tab and see that, yeah, I, I apparently do have some Spider-Mans in there. Uh, but let's go ahead and head back to the Titles tab, and we will clear out that search. and go to titles and we'll go ahead and add one from here so once you've drilled down into the actual titles this is the title page for spider-man uh, now you can see all of the issues from the series so if you wanted to drill down further you could say I just want to see issue number four well there's issue number four um, if I wanted to, maybe I saw the cover before and uh, I'm not sure what the number is, well then I can go to the issue gallery and you can see all the issues a little bit larger so that they're easier to see. And uh, so to add one of these issues, we'll go back to the price guide view here and you see that uh, you've got this view that shows you the various uh, prices from the guide uh, for the value of that comic and you also see some functionality over here uh, including an ownership button and a want button. So the own button, you click on that if you actually do own that issue and it will be added to your collection. Uh, but maybe you don't own it yet, but you want to start creating a want list for the next time you go to a comic convention or a comic shop. You can click on the check mark in order to add it to your want list. Now you can go ahead and click the add button right here to add this to your collection. But one thing I want to show you is on this right side we have this user toolbar which changes depending on what page you're on to give you specific functions that make adding and managing your collection easier. In this case, the Issue Details tab is open, and these are the details that will be added every time that I click that Add button. So if my issue is a 9.4 and I click Add, then I just added a 9.4 book to my collection. So we can click on My Issues and you see there it is. That's the 9.4 I just added. Uh, but let's go back. Let's say that I actually, this was a pretty old issue. It was maybe a 5.0. Uh, I only paid a dollar for it, so um, it's not graded, but I got it from a comic shop. Now whenever I click that add issue, it will add it with that specific grade, the price paid, and the issue notes. It'll also save this information, so maybe I got several different issues. Maybe I bought two. It was a lot sale. There's another one. Um, maybe all of the issues were added. Uh, and they were about 5.0s and I only paid a dollar for each one of them. If I click on my issues tab, you can see that all of those have been added. All of them are 5.0s. All of them have that note, got it from a comic shop, and they were all added into my collection. And this goes even further. Uh, we do have a box management tool uh, which allows you to actually sort your comics. So let's say that uh, I wanted to add all of these new comics to my comics box. Uh, one thing I can do is I can pin this open so that this stays open. Now I'll open the issue details. I'll pin this open too. Now whenever I start moving around, those will always stay open. So I want to add, uh, let's see, number 7. That was a 9.2. 
I paid three dollars for it and I want it to be in box high value pieces click add uh, and then issue six I don't want that in high value pieces I want that in box number two uh, that grade was actually ten it was perfect condition I paid ten dollars for it um, probably not a good buy but that's okay click add and again those specific comics were added to the collection with those specific values so I click on my issues tab and here you go here's book number seven it is in the box high value pieces here's book number six box comics ten dollars and oh that was 10.0 rating and 9.2 rating so there you go so thank you for watching we will continue to do these uh, screen capture tutorials as long as you keep requesting them uh, we do hope that you enjoy the new site